Hi, I'm Carissa Vacker, and welcome back to Sleep Wave, a podcast where we let waves of relaxation wash over you through original sleep meditations and hypnosis created to help you fall asleep tonight. We're growing, and it would be great to introduce even more ripples to our wave. So to help us reach our next 1,000 listeners, would you be able to take a second to leave a short review of Sleep Wave on your podcast app? It would mean the world. We read every review, and it will help us climb the charts, reaching more people that may need a little help with their sleep right now. I will avoid conflict at all costs. In fact, when this meditation came up, I could feel the resistance well up in me and say, no, I don't even want to talk about conflict. But I also know that what we resist persists and that this can be a big weight that keeps me, and maybe you, up at night. Conflict is one of those things that will inevitably cross our paths from time to time. Some people, of course, don't have the same anxiety around it that I do and love to spar. Wherever you fall on the spectrum, we probably all feel similar things in our bodies when engaging in a heated debate. Our heart rates rise and breath speeds up. Our minds whirl with what we're going to say next. It becomes nearly impossible to hear what the other person is saying, because obviously everything coming out of their mouths is wrong. For a period of time, when my husband and I would be in a fight we couldn't find our way out of, we made the decision to just stop everything, shut our mouths, set a timer, and sit down to meditate for a few minutes before resuming the conversation. It was so hard to do. But if we could drag ourselves into silence for those minutes and breathe, we always always found our way to a more constructive conversation after the timer went off. Sometimes it was an apology, sometimes it wasn't, and whatever needed to be worked out was still painful or complicated, but we resumed the discussion with clearer hearts and minds, which benefited us greatly. Tonight, if there is something on your mind that is keeping you up, or some fight within you, If you are finding yourself having a whole conversation with someone who is not even there, this one's for you. You may very well need to fight for the cause that's on your mind tonight. But if you take this short, precious time to meditate on it before sleep, the chances of it resolving in a satisfying way are much more likely. Beyond that, you are opening the door for a better, more peaceful night of sleep. Meditation is not about ignoring anything or sweeping it under the rug. It's about sitting with what is, even the things that are uncomfortable, especially the things that are uncomfortable. So let's all take a deep breath together, relax our bodies, quiet our minds, and bring more peace into our lives and sleep with Resolving Inner Conflict for a Peaceful Sleep by Billy Gill. There is an ancient Chinese saying that reflects an important truth. If someone forges weapons only after becoming engaged in battle, one cannot help but ask, aren't these actions too late? Tonight's sleep meditation is about resolving inner conflict for peaceful sleep. To some extent, if you already feel like you are engaged in conflict with either yourself or someone else, there may have already been opportunities to avoid the battle you find yourself in. The spirit of this ancient saying is rooted in the Taoist wisdom to do what is great while it is still small and do what is difficult while it is still easy. The simplicity of that statement might cause you to overlook how profoundly it relates to sleep as well as to your relationships, career, and health. The world we inhabit is a world of opposites, right and left, up and down, day and night, fear and desire, and so on. Duality appears to be somehow hardwired into our experience. It's no wonder that our goals are often met with opposition. 
It just makes sense that in a world where opposition seems to make the world run, sort of how the positive and negative poles of a battery make appliances run, we will inevitably encounter opposition if we are to attempt anything at all. Given that conflict is an intrinsic part of life, it's in our best interest to understand it as well as we can rather than ignoring it. That doesn't mean that we can't avoid conflict. On the contrary, understanding conflict is the best way to resolve it and perhaps even avoid it altogether. Tonight, we will explore how to recognize conflict while it is still small and practice the art of winning without fighting. Lie on your back and make your way to a comfortable position. Once you are comfortable, give yourself a minute or more to allow for any adjustments that your body may be asking for. There is no need to be rigid. Allow your body to respond to the breath and harmonize this lying down posture so that the breath flows easily and smoothly. If you find that your breath is restricted at all, feel free to change your posture to accommodate the needs of the breath. The breath is the most important thing because it will inform you whether or not your physical posture is the most conducive to sleep. Breath and sleep are very closely related. Take a complete exhalation and really empty your lungs, never straining. There will always be a little bit of air in your lungs and in your airway, but most people don't exhale as deeply as they could, which makes the breath less efficient because the air that is just sitting in your lungs, which could be exhaled, has already given all the oxygen it had to give. Now, it is only taking up space. You may find that a deeper exhale yields a more satisfying inhale. Always practice patience with the breath. It's as though the breath is breathing you. The first step to resolving conflict or avoiding it altogether is to be able to see clearly, which can only be achieved through a calm and quiet state of mind. Your mind has a natural ability to quiet itself. An unquiet mind is like muddy water the sediment is suspended in the water, making the water murky. In that murkiness, how could you see clearly? If the water is left alone, then the silt will gradually settle and the water will become clear. Be patient and let the mud of the mind settle. If there is some problem you feel that you must solve, the first step is to become quiet. Sometimes we are too eager, or we feel that the matter is too urgent to let the mind become calm. No clarity can come from this. Try to be still. If your body is asking for movement, then of course, give yourself the freedom to move, but move consciously. No unconscious movement. By practicing this physical stillness, you will eventually experience mental stillness. You can use your will to keep your body still, but the mind is even more restless than the body. Imagine yourself floating 
in water. If you must move, move so consciously that you would hardly cause any disturbance to the water at all. Your breath becomes finer and softer. Imagine your breath to be so smooth that you would hardly disturb the dust on a table if you were to breathe on it. In this way, the dust of your mind won't be disturbed. The breath will gradually allow your mind to become smooth as well. stillness in the body, smooth, effortless breathing, which gradually smooths out any disturbance in the mind. Can you remain in this place of stillness? You are simply waiting for the mud to settle and the water of your mind to become clear. Can you remain unmoving until the right action arises by itself? When you are searching for the right action, you stir up the mind and you disturb your vision. For now, practice stillness. Stillness gives way to inner silence. Do you have the patience to wait until your mud settles and the water is clear? Can you remain unmoving until the right action arises by itself? Emotions are also disturbances. They are movements within you. The word emotion comes from the old French émouvoir, to stir up. Emotions are a natural response to our environment. They are very important. They give us feedback about our situation, and if they are healthy and balanced, they can guide us effectively through all kinds of circumstances. But they often stir us up so much that we lose control of ourselves 
and become an obstacle to resolving or avoiding conflict. In martial arts, which understands conflict very well, there is no emphasis that you should be unfathomable to your opponent. One should be mysterious and subtle, even to the point of formlessness. This means when emotions flare out of control, we become careless and undermine our own aim by revealing our inner chaos. To win without fighting is best. If you can regulate emotion, that is, if you can keep from being too stirred up, you will communicate effectively and find success. What does it mean when Sun Tzu writes in The Art of War, to win without fighting is best? It means that it is best to be able to achieve your goal without conflict ever even arising. Insight and clarity are the means to achieve this mastery. Insight and clarity come from stillness. Visualize a crystal clear lake. Snow capped mountains in the distance are reflected upon the mirror of the pristine blue surface. The shore is lined with a green forest of trees, and they too are reflected in the water's glassy surface. white clouds and endless blue sky are perfectly rendered in the reflection. The image is so clear that you can't be sure if the reflection isn't an upside down world in itself. You toss a stone into the lake, and as it plunges into the water, ripples disturb the surface of the lake. Now, the image is gone. There are only broken fragments of light among the ripples. The stillness of the lake allowed for the clarity. Be still and let the clear image appear. This is what it means to let the right action arise by itself. If you are in the midst of a conflict, it is time to be still. It is better to be still and allow your mind to become clear before the conflict arises. But now is the best time to let go of the tension in your mind. You may be conflicted within yourself. The 
the same principle applies. Let go of mental tension and allow your mind to take the form of this crystal clear lake. When the mind is as clear as this lake, the right action will appear like the image of the shore and the sky reflected upon the waters. If your mind is disturbed, nothing will be clear, and you will act out of confusion or anger, creating even more conflict in your relationships and within yourself. As you quiet your mind, stillness yields to inner silence. Inner silence yields to sleep. While you sleep, your brain function will improve and enrich your ability to navigate the social dynamics of life and make cool-headed choices. In a calm and serene state of mind, solutions will offer themselves to you. Mental disquiet hides these solutions, but a peaceful mind reveals them. Become aware of your breath as it enters the nostrils. Keep your awareness at the level of the nostrils and notice that the exhale is warmer as it leaves the body through your nose. Notice the difference in temperature between the inhale is unfolding in each moment. You're not doing it. The breath is breathing itself. Your awareness follows the process of the breath as it enters and exits through the nostrils. Intensify your awareness, and as you breathe, mentally say to yourself, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale.
Imagine the back of your head spreading wide. Allow the eyes to retreat away from the eyelids. The bridge of your nose spreads wide. Your inner ears are open and receptive. Listen to the sound of my voice. Sound of my voice. The sound of my voice. Now, listen to inner sounds. Perhaps the gentle rise and fall of your own breathing. Listen to silent sounds. When you listen, you give space to what is happening. Listen to the present moment. Listen to the inner silence and see the blank space of your mind. The top of your head is the ceiling. The temples are the side walls. Your forehead is the front wall. The back of the head is the back wall. The palette forms the floor of this inner space. It is completely black. In this space, begin to see colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, Transform into one another and appear before your awareness. Go on watching the colors appear in the space of your mind. Your ability to visualize these colors will improve with practice. For now, go on watching the colors change. All 
these colors begin to form the image of a lake. Crystal blue lake. Crystal blue lake. Snow-capped mountains. Snow-capped mountains. of trees, green forest of trees, soft white clouds, soft white clouds, endless blue sky. of the water, a reflection on the water, your mind is still and quiet, as peaceful as a mountain lake, be patient and let the water become still and clear. Sleep deeply and let the mud settle to the bottom of the lake. The bottom of the lake. The water is clear and the right action arises on its own. sleep.